Hi friends, happy Friday. Today I am going to read you a story in my bed because this is my favorite, favorite place to read a book. Um, it's so comfy and I feel comfortable here and I really can get some nice, good reading done here. So I thought I would share with you my, my comfy space that I like to read. And I also have a friend with me today this is my stuffed animal from when I was a little girl. Her name is Kitty. Um, she is going to be my reading buddy today. Um, I thought that she would really like today's book. It's all about different animals and giving a bunch of different facts. So I thought I would bring her along. Um, my goal for next week is to be able to go into our classroom and um, bring Lammy home too so that she has a little friend to play with while um, while we're not there. I think she's pretty lonely. So today I'm going to read to you a book called Hippos Can't Swim and Other Fun Facts. Um, this book caught my eye because of all the bright colors and the hippo on the front looks really silly. So I thought I would read this book to you today. It's written by Laura Lynn Deshenna and Hannah Elliott, and it's illustrated by Pete Oswald. Let's see, it has a big did you know, so I think that it's gonna be a bunch of different facts about all the kinds of cool animals. Let's see. Hey there, did you know that hippos are the third largest living land mammal? They come right after elephants and white rhinos. Did you know that a hippo's nose, ears, and eyes are all on top of its head? Hmm. That way, a hippo can still breathe, hear, and see while the rest of it is underwater. Okay, okay, maybe you all knew that. But did you know that hippos can't swim? That's right, their bodies are too dense to float. Instead, hippos walk underwater along the riverbed or use their feet to push off in order to move. Hmm, that word dense, it's a different word. Dense means that they're too heavy. They're heavy, so they can't float. Splash, splash, splash. Can you swim? If you ever go swimming in an ocean, there's a chance you'll run into a sea turtle. Even though sea turtles seem like slow animals, they can swim up to 35 miles per hour. That's the speed limit on my road. That's much faster than lots of other sea creatures can go and much, much faster than a jellyfish can move. I'm making a connection right here. This, seeing all these sea turtles swimming in the ocean like this reminds me of all the sea turtles in Finding Nemo. That's my connection. Jellyfish float with the currents of the ocean. Wouldn't it be nice to float all day long too? That would be pretty cool. Some jellyfish can produce light in their bodies. This is called bioluminescence. Hmm, try saying that bioluminescence, it's a big word. Jellyfish use this quality to scare off predators since the light can startle other animals. Look at all the jellyfish hanging out, they're having fun. And this one, bioluminescence, it's scaring off their predator. He looks pretty, kind of scared, doesn't he? Fireflies, ooh. They glow too, but they use their glow to communicate with other fireflies and to attract a mate. They can control their glow so that it stays steady, pulses, or flashes every once in a while. A firefly's light comes in different colors. It can be green, yellow, or even red. Wow. I've definitely seen a green and a yellow firefly, but I don't know if I've seen any red fireflies. Have you guys? Zebras don't come in lots of different colors, but their black and white stripes do help camouflage them. 
To predators such as lions, the stripes appear to blend into the wavy African grass. Did you know that a zebra's stripes are as unique as a human's fingerprint? Zebras may all seem the same, but no two zebras look alike, just like no two humans look alike. Zebras are attracted to things that are black and white striped, just like they are, just like they are. If you simply painted black and white stripes on a wall, a zebra would walk towards it. Here's them blending in to the African grass. Over here, look, this is silly. They're attracted to anything that is black and white striped. How cool. I did not know that. Ooh, here we go, raccoons. Raccoons, on the other hand, are attracted to shiny objects like aluminum foil, pots, pans, and uh, rustle, rustle, rustle. Look out for that furry animal in your garbage can. Look at him. Hmm. Chipmunks are more likely to be found in the woods than in your garbage can. Did you know that all summer long they collect nuts, seeds, and berries by stuffing them into the size of their cheeks? Then they drop the food off at their house. When the chipmunks return home to hibernate, ooh, that's a big word, hibernate, for the winter, they slowly eat all the food that they collected in their cheek pouches over the summer. Hibernate. Can anybody tell me what hibernate means? That's right, it looks like he's napping. That's what hibernate means, he's sleeping for the winter. Kangaroos have pouches too, but kangaroos are marsupials. This means that their pouches are used to carry their babies. Marsupials, used, pouches used to carry their babies. Boing, boing, boing. As you might know, kangaroos hop everywhere. They use their strong back legs to hop and their muscular tails to balance. If you bounce on a pogo stick, you can hop just like a kangaroo. There's his, there's his pouch. There they are, bouncing on a pogo stick, using their muscular tails and strong legs. A rabbit is another animal that hops. Ooh, look at him. Rabbits may hop much more slowly than kangaroos, but the longest rabbit hop ever recorded is almost 10 feet. Wow, that's taller than me. Rabbits can give birth to up to 35 little baby bunnies each year. Some types of rabbits live as families in under, underground burrows. It's nice and cozy for them down there. Whew, daddy looks tired. Mama looks tired too. Look at all these babies running around. This one has ice cream. Yummy. Some bats also live underground in their caves. Others live above ground in trees. Bats have excellent hearing. If there is an object or animal nearby, a bat will send out a sound that bounces off the object and then echoes back to the bat. By doing this, a bat can figure out how big the object is, how far away it is, and how fast it's going. Wow. Here's this bat, 747 airplane traveling at 547 miles an hour and it's two miles away. Cool. Can you do that? Hmm, what do you think? Look at these bats are in burrows and these ones are hanging in the trees. Pretty neat. While bats sleep all day, worker ants in a colony don't sleep all day or nighttime. Instead, they each take about 250 naps throughout the day. Each nap 
lasting just longer than one minute long. This way, many of the ants are awake at one time and can contribute building the colony. Can you imagine taking 250 naps a day for only one minute? Hmm. I think I'd be a little bit more tired after that. Look at all of them helping to build the ant colony. I'm making a connection with this book with the ant book that we read the other day, Hey Little Ant, where he, the little ant said, I, one chip can help feed my whole colony. Sounds about right. These guys only have one cupcake, one donuts, one cookie. They're gonna feed all their colony. Hmm. Did you know that great blue herons live in colonies as well? They mostly live along coastlines or near ponds or streams. Herons catch fish by standing still for long periods of time and waiting for the fish to swim by. That may sound boring to you, but herons, they do this to survive. These ones look a little tired. Maybe they haven't caught any fish yet. Herons are three feet to five feet tall on average, whereas hummingbirds, ooh, hummingbirds, are among the smallest of birds. They are usually only about three to five inches tall. They're so tiny that sometimes they look like a flying insect. It's the sound that their wings make. Hummingbirds can hover in midair by rapidly flapping their wings 12 to 80 times a second. Here's the, here's the heron. Here's the hummingbird. Whew. Blue whales are bigger than both hummingbirds and herons. herons. They're actually the largest animal that have ever, ever lived. Did you know that? Hmm, I didn't know that. They can grow up to 100 feet long and weigh up to 180 tons. Woo! And unlike hippos, blue, blue whales sure can swim. Look at how big he is. I did know that whales can swim. I bet you did too. Ooh, okay. So, more fun facts. Let's see. Jellyfish. The biggest known jellyfish is the Arctic lion's mane, whose tentacles can extend up to 120 feet. Wow. Chipmunk. Chipmunks chirp when they sense a threat. Hmm. Ant. Ants can lift anywhere from 10 to 15 times their own body weight. Woo, they're strong. That's right, how else are they supposed to lift up all that food? Hippopotamus. The word hippopotamus comes from the ancient Greek word for river horse, but hippos are not related to horses at all. They most they most closely resemble pigs, whales, and dolphins. Wow. Hmm. Sea turtles. The average lifespan of a sea turtle is more than 50 years. That's a long time for one animal. <gasps> firefly. Look at how cute. Baby fire, fireflies are called larvae. They live underground and feed on worms and slugs by injecting them with a numbing fluid. Hmm. Kangaroo. Kangaroos have some funny names. Females are called flyers, jills, or does, and males are called bucks, boomers, or old men. <laughs> and young kangaroos are called joeys. The great blue heron, thanks to a special, thanks to special shaped Vertebrae, herons can curl their necks into an S shape, which allows them to fly faster and to catch fish more easily. You see that? You see the S shape? Wow. 
Zebras are constantly looking for fresh grass and water. Sometimes they, ga they gather in herds of thousands to find food, and they often travel with other animals such as wild beasts. Whoa. Rabbits. Rabbit mothers typically only feed their babies for a few minutes a day. Wow. Hummingbird. Hummingbirds can fly backwards and even upside down. Would you want to fly backwards and upside down? I think I'd run into something. Raccoon. When it comes to heights, raccoons have no fear. They scamper up trees and to get away from their predators. Bats. Bats are very, very clean animals. They groom themselves all day to keep their fur soft and clean. Look at him, combing his hair. Last one, blue whales. Blue whales can rest easy. They are so large that they have very no few known predators. Wow, that was an awesome book. Hippos can't swim and lots of other fun facts. So I would like to know where your favorite reading spot is and if you have a buddy that you like to read with. Um, mine is Kitty today and mine's in my big comfy bed. Um, let me know and have your moms and dads comment below. Bye guys, have a good weekend.